know, I went ahead and gave all five of my girls in here hay. They just get what we grow, and there's Queen. And also, I mixed in a little bit of alfalfa, which I had left over from state. And I'm gonna make their hay bags now, and I think three horses are gonna go, so I'm gonna fix three hay bags. My barn's a wreck, so ignore it. I have to share barn space with my dad. But anyway, I'm grabbing my three hay bags. I am a hangover hay net girly. So if you don't follow me on TikTok and stuff, you probably don't know, but I do not use square bells, which has pros and cons. But I have been using round bells for probably two or three years. And I'm gonna fill these like three fourths of the way full. And then the rest, I'm gonna put alfalfa on top. It's definitely like more work doing it the round bell way. This is about how full I'm gonna get them. I usually would stuff them completely full, but since that alfalfa is in my trailer and I wanna use it, I'm gonna leave it like that. I've had these hay bags literally since they came out and I've collected four over the course of, I'd say two, two and a half, maybe three years. And I really love them. I keep going back to them even if I try something different. My hay bags are filled. Got everything loaded up. I know it looks like a mess. Just leave me be. I took those wonky braids down, did my makeup, got my bag packed. So let's get on the road. But first things first, let's get drinks and snacks. I would normally pack a cooler with drinks, but it's just me today. So I'm kind of thinking like, what's the point? You know, I'm just gonna fill up this little cooler bag, lunch bag thing. This little booger might be going if he wants to. I don't know. Sometimes he'll let you know when you get in the car, basically, if he wants to come or not. I think he's going to want to go because he keeps following me everywhere. The water is filled up outside in the pasture. So I'm going to let out the girls who are not going and then grab the ones who are. There goes Queen. There's Ladybug. Blaze grabbing Honey and Lee. Got them loaded up. It just hit me that I literally have one hook left on this trailer, but I think it won't be a problem. Jazz can just be tied to like the tops and so can Lee. But I'm just taking the three horse bumper pull today and I guess he's gonna come with me. We're gonna go Jack grab Jazz and then be on our way. Got the girl out right here and unloaded everyone. Their hay bags are up and I just gave them some water. Now I'm gonna go get some exhibitions and sign up. Lee's gonna be exhibition first. I bought three on her. Just finished exhibition and Lee, I'm about to unsaddle her and then saddle honey, but gosh, I'm hot. Eating a healthy lunch. Y'all know how that is. I couldn't even eat all that. Since I have like two hours, I'm just gonna go hose off Lee before doing honey. Got her hosed off. She flipped the hay so hard, it literally went all over me. I have three on her too. My plan is to just work through one, slow work, breeze through one and then slow work the other one. Honey is saddled up. I'm about to put her bit in and we're gonna warm up in the next fishing. Just got finished with Honey. She is really hot, so I'm gonna unsaddle her and hose her off. We've got a little less than an hour before the show starts. The whole crew gets a treat. Lee's usually my drinker, but today it's Honey. This is like her fourth bucket. Lee's just so strange because she won't stop drinking water. Like, she's gonna drink the entire bucket. Doesn't matter how big the bucket is. While I wait on the actual running to start, I'm gonna get Jazz ready. This takes a while because this mane is long and super thick.
the reason I braid her hair is because it gets caught up in my reins when I'm running her. I'm gonna braid Honey's hair too. Finished up her braids. I think everybody is as happy as can be, even Cooper who is <laughs> tied to the tongue of the trailer. So they haven't posted the draw. They have a few age groups before open. So I think it's gonna probably be 30 more minutes or so. They just posted the draw. I'm one and 13 on any horse. So I think I'm gonna do one on Honey and 13 on Jazz because Jazz doesn't need much time. If they started on time, you know it's not a horse show. <laughs> done running I couldn't really update y'all between runs because I was 1 and 13 so I had no time and I literally just got off jazz but she ran a 16.8 so honey ran a 16.3 and the fastest time is a 15.7 and we also had a bad third barrel and had a bad first barrel so not like the best runs out of anyone but maybe I'll make a little bit of money y'all I was number four in 2D and number four in 3D and they paid to the third spot. I'm back at home. I got my girls all tucked in for the night. I'm filling up their waters right now. But thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all again next week.